Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mixed media painting in my sketchbook and I'm going to be using my hydrous watercolors that I have never used before and color pencil and gouache. Oh, and a dip pen. So I'm starting out with the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrous Watercolors and I have never used them before so I discovered that they are very pigmented. Um, I went to put the color on the red apple and wow it is so bright. If you water these down a little, they will become more transparent as you can see in the green tomato that I'm painting now. So I started adding more layers and trying to give the tomatoes more dimension and um, they started looking, you know, pretty good to me. I was I'm excited about these new watercolors and I'm new, I'm not new, new to watercolors, but I am definitely not an expert in them. I, I had a one watercolor course in college and that was it and that was about 12 years ago I was pregnant with my daughter and she's she's almost 13 so I guess I guess uh, 13 years ago and I've played with them just in the past two years um, and so I, I normally work in, in oil so um, working in watercolor is is a challenge for me and that's why I usually do them in my sketchbook so that I can practice instead of doing like a full final piece
So here I'm putting in the table and I thought I would make it a fun kind of purple, grayish purple color. And I wanted to stick with the, the bright, fun theme of my, of my picture. And um, I thought it looked very pretty, the cool color against the warm colors of the tomatoes. I tried a little uh, color pencil on the green apple to give it some a hint of yellow and I used the polychromos which are very transparent and so it didn't work as well as I wanted it to and then I did something that I've never done before. I used my dip pen with my Bombay India ink in black and outlined the tomatoes. I never outlined my um, my, my pictures ever. I just don't. So I decided to just play around, you know, I'm not selling this. And, um, I thought that it would be fun just to try something new. And I had fun with it. It was, it was, um, it, it ended up turning out better than I thought it would. And at this point in the, in the painting I didn't like it very much and so I decided to just you know go with it and you know do things that I have never done before Here I'm putting in the shadows of the tomatoes and the table in the photo is glass, like a, like a black glass. And that's why I had made it purple because I didn't want it black. And so that it, it turned out kind of pretty, the, the colors, they, I made them really thin and so they're transparent on the, um, the purple table. And so it turned out nicer than I thought it would. And then I started splattering, I guess that's the word for it, splatter some paint on my picture. And I had never done that before either. So that was fun. And I end up not liking it as much as I thought I would. And so I ended up wetting the background, the whole background, so that I can just dot in some of the colors, just some of the different colors that are in the picture. And it's very dark. So I take a 
a paper towel and kind of get some of that color off because it looks um, way too vibrant. It's taking away from the tomatoes. So I go in with a paper towel, a wet paper towel, and try to get more of it off. And so here you can see that it's more, uh, more subtle uh, colors in the background. And I did the side of the table. At this point, I'm going in with some uh, luminance colored pencils, and they are a lot more... Um, or they are a lot less transparent than the polychromos and so they show up a lot better on the tomatoes and um, but I still was not in love with the tomatoes and I almost just didn't record this or didn't, I did record it but I almost did not share this with you guys because I just was I did not like it at all but the next day I came in and looked at it and I'm like you know it's not as so bad so I I decided that I could maybe fix it with my with my gouache um, because it is not transparent and I went in and went over some of the cross hatching that I had done and tried to add um, some more color um, some some shadowing and just fix some of the tomatoes that I was not happy with and it was nice that I could go over with the gouache right over the um, color pencil and everything and it went right over it. So this ended up being a fun little painting to do in my sketchbook and I encourage all of you to work more in your sketchbooks and do things that you haven't done before in it or practice your craft and so that you can get better at your paintings or drawings. Um, so that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.